So the Ryzen 4000 processors with integrated graphics part is doubling its core and thread numbers stand against last gen flagship the 3400G. In fact, it turns out video cards even got a picture on it, the Ryzen 7 4700G, which is confirmation that AMD is getting ready to launch its fastest AM4 APU to date. And in this video guys, we're gonna look at everything you need to know about these monster APUs such as specs, performance, release date, pricing and why you might want to wait for these APUs to drop before you build your next budget gaming PC in 2020. Stay tuned. Hey what is up guys, welcome to Arbin Hardware. My name is Rob and I'm your Swedish host and friend with bad posture and poor accent. The central architecture now hosts several of AMD's processor families in addition to the desktop processors in the Ryzen 3000 series also known as codename Matisse. It was recently also introduced a mobile called Ryzen 4000 codename Renoir. Guys, these are unlike desktop processors with the famous chiplet design, just a tiny monolithic chip that is extremely fast and very energy efficient. Hence why there is such a great match for a mobile device such as a notebook or a laptop. Anyway, what makes these APUs interesting is that they offer a good balance of graphics and a processor core on the same package, allowing budget PC builders a cheap entry to game and work fast in various applications at the same time without spending that much money. And so far AMD have dropped a few APUs based on older generations such as the 2200, the 2400, the 3200 as well as the 3400G, all with the G at the end. The previous models have been quite powerful thanks to a fairly optimized architecture and Vega graphics, despite the fact that previous generation was still made on the less powerful Sam Plus architecture. And this is kinda due to the way that AMD likes to release their APUs. APUs. And despite their namings in terms of manufacturing process, they are lagging a bit behind the processor lineup. And because of this, the third gen APUs didn't really see that massive performance increase that the rest of the third gen Ryzen saw with Sun 2 on 7 nanometer. And thus, we haven't really seen that massive performance leaps on these APUs until now. Now, recent leaks indicate that brand new 8 core APU based on Sun 2 with a redefined Vega chip are underway. And the performance leaps stand against older APUs appear to be massive. And the now famous Tom Appisack, which is a very known leaker on Twitter at this point, who has been right with a lot of things in the past, has found something very interesting. Someone has apparently tested a 40 gen Ryzen APU in user benchmark. It is an engineering copy named in the Eng sample with a bunch of numbers, which another well-known Twitter leaker, Komashi Ensaka, believes is a Renoir-based APU processor for the AIM4 socket. Now guys, engineering samples are often clocked lower than final products and that's something worth having in mind before we dive into the clock speeds for this one. Now another famous Twitter leaker known as Rogame is also reporting that there are at least two Renoir ships that are being tested here and one being a 3.5 GHz CPU with a GPU clocked at 1750 MHz and another 3 GHz variant with the GPU clocked at the very same uh, clock speed. Now, both variants are likely to feature 8 cores and 16 threads, which is one of the biggest upgrade over the 4 core and 8 thread Ryzen 3000 APUs. But something that we cannot forget is that this time around we got Zen 2 as well. We're not just looking at the fact that we got double the core count to previous Yen, but we also got a brand new architecture. Now, as for performance, the AMD Ryzen 4000 Renoir 8 core engineering sample scored 130 points in one core, 264 points in two core, 524 points in four core, 1051 points in eight core, and finally 1087 points in 64 core benchmarks. But something to keep in mind here is that the platform the ship was tested on featured a single 8GB DDR4 memory stick locked at 3133MHz, so in other words, it is far from a best case scenario, and based on these benchmarks guys, we can add assume that the CPU is just about as fast as the Ryzen 7 3800X, which in other words is mighty exciting news. Now what do you think about these numbers? Let me know in the comments below. Anyway guys, a few days after this leak came out, a Ryzen 4700G was spotted in the AOTS benchmark. And this gives us yet another look at the performance of this rather powerful APU. Now the AOTS entry shows that the Renoir CPU would be known as the AOTS 
AMD Ryzen 7 4700G. It's an 8 core and 16 thread CPU, and it was tested with Radeon RX 5700 XT. Unfortunately, most of the performance metrics were missing. The system did, however, feature 16GB of RAM, and since then, a picture of the Ryzen 4700G was also leaked by video cards confirming previous leaks, and it can be seen that the flagship part is indeed going to be called 4700G. And if we take a greater look at this picture, we find out that this part has the same OPN code which matches the flagship SKU's entry that we looked at earlier. And based on these specs and the leak table by Igor's lab, we can figure out the specifications and it turns out they are pretty insane. And so with all rumors and leaks leading up to this very moment, let's look at the specs for the upcoming Ryzen 7 4700G. Alright, so we got 8 cores and 16 threads, and that's a double up of the number of cores and threads over the last gen flagship, the Ryzen 5 3400G. Clock speeds are reported at 3.6 GHz base and a 4.45 GHz boost clock. We got 8 MB of L3 cache and a TDP of 65 watts. And alongside the CPU, we also got a 8 Vega graphics with a total of 512 Steam processors. But the most impressive part is the clock speed of the Vega graphics. And for the core, we're looking at up to 2.1 GHz clock speed, which is an increase of 20% over the Ryzen 9 4900H, which is clocked at 17 and 50 megahertz. Guys, this is far from the only APU AMD is planning. Right now, it seems like AMD is planning a bunch of APU models with different SKUs, featuring both 35 watt and 65 watt TDP models. And this would feature 8, 6, and even 8 cores like the Ryzen 4700G. And as always, when it comes to these type of APUs, using faster RAM sticks will also increase the performance. So let's talk pricing. And given the fact that AMD now takes the jump from 4 to 8 threads, pretty much doubling the performance, it would make sense to consider a slight price increase, at least for the 4700G. Currently, AMD Ryzen 3000 CPUs with 8 cores starts at $279 US dollars for the Ryzen 7 3700X, expecting something like $200 to $250 US dollars for the 8 core models and something like $150 to $200 dollars for the 4 core parts seems quite likely. Well, according to WCCF Tech, but obviously I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Now what about release date? Well, according to WCCF Tech, their sources have reported that we can expect a launch for 40 and Ryzen APUs around July this year. And as for compatibility, we know that they will work on the B550 as well as the A520, as well as the X570 obviously. And there is a glimpse of hope that current B550 as well as the X570 chipsets get the needed microcode, as Lisa Su recently responded that they are indeed looking into solution to get 40 and Ryzen to work on all the motherboards as well. Now, would you be interested in a dedicated gaming PC APU build? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for sticking around this long. Watch your of these two videos and I will see you guys in the next one.